Thanks very much for attending. Uh, my name is Richard Greenane and I'm a co-founder and the Chief Operating Officer with Procurement Express. Um, we've uh, got a, a new uh, thing to show you today. Uh, it's a new piece of uh, work, something we've been working on uh, for a little while and something that's going to lead to uh, some extra good parts within Procurement Express. Um, this is in relation to invoices in Procurement Express and how uh, you can now or you will be able to uh, link up invoices by line item in Procurement Express um, so you'd be able to record line items on an invoice uh, where before we couldn't do that. That's going to lead to a lot of really exciting uh, things. First of all, it's going to lead to uh, our QuickBooks integration uh, being uh, a lot better in terms of linking up with bills in QuickBooks uh, because we can do line item by line item invoices. And it's all gonna, also going to open up some real magical features in terms of uh, things like optical character recognition, things like scanning invoice in the future anyway, scanning invoices and uh, uh, bringing those details directly into Procurement Express in an automated fashion, uh, which is really nice because it saves uh, a lot of work. So I'm joined by my colleague uh, Christophe Manger. Uh, he is our head of product and he's going to guide you through uh, what these changes mean. Uh, uh, so this is the start of that, that process and, uh, uh, and this is going to be rolled out uh, tomorrow uh, around 6am GMT um, uh, tomorrow. So Christophe, over to you. Uh, thank you, uh, Richard. Um, so as Richard uh, uh, mentioned, uh, we're always looking at ways to uh, improve and help you save time with magical features. One of the uh, upcoming changes that is going to be uh, deployed this weekend is uh, around invoices. Our purchase orders have line items. That's great because you know exactly what you want to buy and how for how much you want to buy it. But what about invoices? In practice, in the real life, invoices have are itemized. They have line items. So why not have that also with Procurement Express? So I'm going to show you how that works uh, here. Uh, I'm going to go and take a request a draft request that I've done previously. Uh, you see this is with uh, Dell. I like to buy a lot of uh, machines, hardware and software. And this is a purchase order that you can see has uh, three different line items, four pieces of hardware. Right, it's typically uh, the number of items we have uh, on average on our system. Uh, I'm going to send this uh, request since I am on auto validation, uh, it's approved automatically. It's now approved. And you can see it's, uh, I have my three line items. I don't have any invoices yet. So uh, let me say I want to go and create an invoice in a bit of a different way. I'll go to a new, new invoice here. I have been looking for Dell and uh, I've received the invoice. I received it today and the uh, due date is the 31st. Uh, let me go and add the purchase order. You can see the latest purchase order that I have on Dell, which is the one that has been approved is this uh, purchase order here. Uh, and automatically after I have chosen the purchase order, which reminds me, its number, its date, its department, and its gross amount. The line items of the purchase orders are then automatically added to the invoice. Uh, you can change these uh, items if you want to. You can change the quantities if your invoice is not for the full amount. Uh, we've got a, a couple of buttons here to help you do that. You can reset, so refresh, uh, reset everything, clean the screen, or if you have your purchase order and uh, maybe you misunderstood something, you can copy again from the content of the purchase order. In my, in my case here, I'm quite happy with my line items that I have here. I'm going to go and get my Dell invoice, I will put a reference 
here and I will save it. Now that I've saved it, I can see my line items. I can see that here there are reference to the purchase order that I've just uh, looked at before. And in any case, if I really want to check again, I can come back on the purchase order section and with the arrow, see the list of uh, the details of the purchase order and whether uh, items have been delivered or not. In my case, nothing has been delivered, but I'm going to say I'm happy to go and pay this invoice. Third point of control, when I want to approve this invoice, I have my invoice preview here, so I can do a three-way check to see, okay, well, everything looks all right. I've got the right numbers, looks to be the right items. My totals match. Okay, so I'm happy I can approve this invoice. Right, I have approved this invoice. It's now in ready to pay status. I can go back to my purchase order. You can see that I'm on invoice received. Uh, my invoice is here present and it shows that it's approved. Let's go and pay it now. So I'm going to record a payment that's pre-filled automatically. Uh, that's the correct payment amount. I save my payment just be my payments linked to my invoice and my purchase order. And from here, I can easily go back to my purchase order. You can see that my purchase order is paid. The invoice now is in, say, is in state settled, so I know it's been paid. And the payments are also present now in a payments tab. Additional, additionally, my outstanding amount is at zero. So that ties with the fact that my purchase order is paid. So that's an example of a purchase order and of invoices with line items. Um, your, if your suppliers are using the supplier portal to uh, upload invoices, they will have the same functionality when they go and select the purchase order to upload in an invoice upon, automatically it will show the list of line items. They can change, they can add, they can remove, and then it's saved and it will come to you as an invoice with the different line items pre-filled. So this uh, feature is uh, being released uh, this weekend. So um, we're quite excited to uh, hear about what you think about it. After uh, using it, I'm sure you'll have feedback. Uh, so you can uh, uh, always contact us at uh, the support at PokemonExpress.com. Rich, back to you. Thanks, Christoph. Um... So yeah, this is going to be released at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have a, going to throw the thing open to questions. I have a couple of questions already. Um, so I have a question from uh, somebody called Anita, who is asking uh, what's going to happen to uh, any invoices that we've already got within the system in Procurement Express. Are they going to be, you know, how are they going to be handled? Yeah. So all existing invoices uh, are migrated to the new. Uh... Uh, to the new feature. Um, if your purchase order and your invoice match in terms of total amounts, the uh, invoice will have the same detail as the purchase order. Uh, if, if they don't match, we've done something simple. Uh, the invoice will have one line uh, with the total amount so that it matches the amount of the purchase order. Okay, thanks. That's great. And I've got another question uh, from somebody called Darcy, who's asking, uh, um, there was when you created the invoice there, there was a, a copy from PO and reset button. Can you tell us what what that does? Yeah, so these are uh, two small two features to help on the input uh, of the data. Uh, the reset clears the uh, the screen. 
the copy from PO, if once you have selected the, the purchase order, you've gone and edited the line items and you realize, oh, maybe I deleted too many things or I changed too many, uh, too many, too many items. That's not what I wanted to do. You can just press the copy from a PO and the list of line items will be refreshed automatically from uh, the purchase order that's been uh, selected. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we've got a, an attendee called uh, Liz Yeager uh, who has a hand up. Liz, I think if you could uh, uh, type your, I think we, we type the, uh, uh, the questions into, if you could type your question in, I think you do have the opportunity to do that. I can't control it, Rob. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Liz, you, you're able to talk now, so please ask your question. Thank you so much. So um, I don't know if this was actually answered, but I didn't follow the answer. We occasionally will have purchase orders come in after the, the invoices will come in with shipping or freight that the original purchase order did not know what the amount was going to be. So they'll either put in a blank line item that says shipping TBD and the dollar amount is zero. When I go to put the invoice in, what will happen with that price difference? uh it will it, it, it you can so you can either correct the purchase order uh or uh, the amount if your invoice is for slightly higher than the purchase order uh it will be the payment will be recorded for the amount of the invoice and it will be shown uh, on the purchase order as an overpayment one other way you might handle that, Liz, is um, you might want to change the purchase order itself as well, which you can, as a finance person, you can go in and make edits, uh, some depending on the company settings. Uh, if you make edits, it might have to go around for approval again, or it might not because the settings can be changed there. Uh, but the reason why you might want to uh, edit the actual number is because you might want it, the shipping cost to affect the budget that it's going against. Um, because then if you if you do change the the amount then it's going to affect the budget and so you know the uh, that extra 10 20 dollars or whatever for shipping is going to go on to that particular budget thank you i appreciate that i am able to do the changes to the purchase order usually that is what i do i just didn't know if we were going to use the automated part how that would work right okay gotcha um so uh so I, I would suggest that for the time being you continue to uh make the changes like you have been doing and then when you go to put the invoice in then you'll be able to pull so make that change first and then it will pull down those line items uh uh from the purchase order originally thank you okay any other questions from anyone i don't see anyone else with their hand up or anything um so uh we're going to leave it there. This recording is going to be available online as well. Uh, and anybody that signed up to the webinar that didn't come. Hello, nice to see you, uh, but uh, you'll be able to see us on the recording. So uh, uh, that's it, Rob. Uh, thanks very much, everybody, for attending. Really appreciate it and uh, really hope that you like the uh, um, like these uh, new features that we're releasing. There's more to come. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to our support team, either through the online chat or go directly to support at procurementexpress.com uh, and, uh, uh, and they'll answer any questions there as well.